The Life and Sad Ending of Benny Hill Alfred Hawthorne Hill was born on the 21st of January 1924 in Southampton on the south coast of England. His father, Alfred Hill, and grandfather, Henry Hill, had both been circus clowns. His mother was Helen Cave. After leaving Taunton's school in Southampton, Hill worked at Woolworth's and as a milkman, a bridge operator, a driver, and a drummer before becoming assistant stage manager with a touring re review. He was called up in 1942 and trained as a mechanic in the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, the British Army. He served as a mechanic, truck driver, and searchlight operator in Normandy after September 1944 and later transferred to the Combined Services Entertainment Division before the end of the war. Inspired by the star comedians of British music hall shows, Hill set out to make his mark in show business. He changed his name to Benny in homage to his favorite comedian, Jack Benny. After the Second World War, Hill worked as a performer on radio, making his debut on Variety Bandbox on the 5th of October, 1947. His first appearance on television was in 1950. In addition, he attempted a sitcom anthology, Benny Hill, which ran from 1962 to 1963, in which he played a different character in each episode. In 1964, he played Nick Bottom in an all-star TV film production of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. He also had a radio program lasting for three series called Benny Hill Time on BBC Radio's Light Program from 1964 to 1966. It was a topical show. For example, a March 1964 episode featured James Pond 0017 in From Moscow with Love and his version of The Beatles. He played a number of characters in the series, such as Harry Hill and Fred Scuttle. Hill's film credits include parts in five full-length feature films, including Who Done It in 1956, Light Up the Sky 1960, Those Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines 1965, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang 1968, and The Italian Job in 1969. He also made two short subject films, The Waiters in 1969 and Eddie in August in 1970, the latter being a TV production. Hill had struggled on stage and had uneven success on radio, but in television he found a forum that played to his strengths. The Benny Hill Show began in 1955. Its pioneering combination of cheeky humor, songs, and impressions was to make it a hit for the next 40 years. It made great success and fame for him. Hill remained mostly with the BBC through to 1968, except for a few sojourns with ITV and ATV stations between 1957 and 1960, and again in 1967. In 1969, his show moved from the BBC to Tim's Television, where it remained until cancellation in 1989, with an erratic schedule of one-hour specials. In 1979, The Benny Hill Show was shown in America for the first time, and Benny went on to become one of the biggest stars on US TV, and won a BAFTA as well as a Golden Rose of Montreal Award. Benny Hill's TV career came to an end in 1989 when his show was dropped, but his popularity continued and he completed a US TV special, Benny Hill's World Tour, New York, in 1991. Despite being a millionaire many times over, Hill continued with the frugal habits that he picked up from his parents, notably his father, such as buying cheap food at supermarkets, walking for miles rather than paying for a taxi unless someone picked up the tab for a limousine, and constantly patching and mending the same clothes even when the balance on his account at the Halifax Building Society reached seven figures. Hill never married and he had no children. He had proposed to two women but neither accepted. Shortly after his death in 1992, actress Annette Andre said that she turned down his proposal of marriage in the early 1960s. Because of his eccentricity and reclusive lifestyle, rumors circulated that he was gay, but he was always laughingly denied them. Hill's health declined into the late 1980s, 
after a mild heart attack on the 24th of February in 1992. Doctors told him he needed to lose weight and recommended a heart bypass. He declined and a week later was found to have kidney failure. He died at the age of 68 on the 20th of April. On the 22nd of April, after several days of unanswered telephone calls, he was found dead in his armchair in front of the television. His cause of death was recorded as a coronary thrombosis. Hill was buried at Hollybrook Cemetery near his birthplace in Southampton on the 26th of April, 1992.